I got an E24 error code on my Nest thermostat. No power to the RH wire. I took panels off of my furnace to locate any type of fuse but no luck. I don't even see the circuit board. Furnace is old too. Just to clarify, do you think this is a larger HVAC problem, or something specific to the thermostat? More than likely something specific to thermostat. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? I'm trying to see if I have a blown fuse on the furnace. But yes I plan on doing it myself. Anything else we should know to help you best? I just replaced the fan motor and capacitor on the AC outside. That was three weeks ago. Been working perfect ever since. Up until two days ago. I don't know if they're related. I doubt it. Hello and welcome to Just Answer. My name is I'll be happy to assist you today. Can you remove the face of the nest to expose the wiring? Make sure the panels on the furnace are back on, so that door switch is pushed in, and remove the red wire from RH and green wire from G and touch, and hold, the wires together. Does the indoor fan come on? I'm at work at the moment. I can when I get home. Okay, sounds good. Just post your findings here and I'll be alerted. Okay, thank you. No problem. Talk to you soon. I just used a jumper wire to the RH wire and G wire. Fan came on. Jumped red wire to green wire and fan came on instantly. Uh-oh, that means the thermostat is getting power to the RH terminal, which, unfortunately, would indicate that the nest is bad. How old is your thermostat? Nest has a two-year limited factory warranty, and adds an additional three years if it was purchased and installed by a Nest Pro dealer. I just bought the house two months ago. Not sure how to figure out how old it is. You can contact Nest and provide the serial hash. If it was manufactured or if they have a cell date in the system that is within two years then they should cover it under warranty. Okay thank you very much man. No problem. I wish we could have fixed it for you. When it comes time to replace it, be sure to turn the power to the indoor unit off prior to removing existing wires. If all is good and you're happy with my services, could you do me a favor and rate me? It would be much appreciated. Thank you for using Just Answer. I troubleshot this with a tech from Nest and found out there is no power coming from the AC to the thermostat. That's why there's an issue. When I unplug yellow wire from Y1, everything registers fine except I have no AC. Three weeks ago, we put in a new AC fan motor with a different use capacitor. Has been working fine since this dilemma. Any suggestions? The Nest Tech is incorrect. There is power to the thermostat. Power comes through the red wire to RH. When we jumped RH to G and the fan came on that verified that there is power through the red wire. There is an internal problem with the Nest board, unless there's high voltage power going through the yellow wire. Do you have a voltmeter by chance question mark 6? 
No, I don't. When I unplugged yellow wire to Y1, I have no codes and I can turn on the fan through the thermostat. This is a five year old Nest Second General. I will take your word. If you think I should get a new thermostat, what would cause no power from AC that I can look into before I go this route? I can acquire a voltmeter. What should the yellow read? If you could verify voltage to why it would be good. Should read 0 volts AC between Y and C. The nest has power from the AC. You will have 24 volts between R and C which will verify this. I ended up buying a new nest and installed. My dad came by with a voltmeter. And we only got 1.6 from Y to C. Any suggestions why my voltage isn't 24V for that test? Please and thank you. That voltage would be correct. You are getting 24V between C and RH correct? I only have the four wires connected. G, Y1, W1, RH. From RH to Y1 I get 1.6 volts between the two. This is how it was hooked up when I moved in. So when I replaced the thermostat, I wired it exactly the same. Are you suggesting that I need to have a C wire ran from the nest to the furnace? Okay, sorry, I didn't realize you didn't have a C wire. The nest can typically run fine without a C wire, but it is possible you need one. I misread before and thought you said that you had 1.6 V between C and Y, but I see now you said R and Y. You should have 24 V between R and Y, it sounds like the red and yellow wires may be shorted together. Can you look at the indoor unit and find the thermostat wires? If so, see if you notice anything out of the ordinary. You can take a pic if needed and post it here if you need to. Okay. Thanks man. I'm at work at the moment. But I will do so when I get home. There is an extra blue wire that is in the wall. Should I run that to common C from thermostat to the furnace? I always recommend hooking up the C if possible, otherwise that stat uses Y or W as C. That's typically okay unless the transformer is putting out less than 24V, in which case it could cause a problem. When you're at the furnace go ahead and check voltage between C and R there, be sure to hold or tape door switch if there is one should read 24V or slightly higher. Between C and R. I have 27.9 volts at the furnace. Perfect, that's what we want. Can you disconnect the red wire from Y at the furnace, leave yellow wire connected, and see what the thermostat says? I ended up pulling out the disconnected blue, common wire, from the back of the wall and connected it to the C terminal on the furnace. I no longer have any code on the nest after doing so. That blue wire I connected to C on the thermostat to C on the furnace. Excellent, I'm still concerned that something is up with the yellow wire. Does everything work inside and out when you turn the thermostat to cool? The heat works great. The AC didn't turn on but I researched that. And if it's too cold outside it won't turn on. Is this true? The red wire going to Y and white wire that was going to C is for the Honeywell humidifier hooked up to the furnace. 
Is that the best way to wire it? Some units will not start when it's too cold outside, but most will. Red to Y and white to C should be going outside to the AC unit. You sure it's going to the humidifier? You're right. Never mind. I just re-looked at it. Okay, thanks. What's the outdoor temp there? We may need to wait until the temp is higher just in case your system has the low temp protection. 63 degrees and the AC is from 1988. Lol. Where are you out of? I'm in Illinois. I'm in Texas, hot here lol. 63 degrees is definitely not too cold. We may have a bigger issue here. Try removing the red wire from Y and see if the indoor blower comes on when you turn the thermostat to cool. I just did exactly what you said. And yes the indoor fan kicks on. Okay, good, I should have asked before, but does the indoor blower kick on with the red wire connected to Y? It does. I did that earlier. But the outside AC unit did not engage. Or maybe it needed more time to react? There are delay timers on many outdoor units, you can try leaving AC on for 10 minutes and see if the outdoor unit comes on. If not, it'll be time to troubleshoot why. Okay cool thank you. I'll let you know. No problem. I set the thermostat to cool at 60 degrees and had it running for 25 minutes. I check the AC unit outside every once in a while in between. No luck at all with the AC. Never kicked on. The temp outside is currently 57 degrees. Okay, looks like we have some further testing to do. Whether it's tonight or tomorrow, the first thing to check will be to see if we're getting low voltage tilde 24 volts, between the red and white wires at the outdoor unit when the thermostat is calling for cool. We know we're getting it at the furnace, but need to see if it's getting outside as well. Okay, I will do so tomorrow. Thank you. Sounds good, talk to you then. I figured out the problem. The contactor does not engage. I took a stick and pushed it in manually. It fired up immediately. Can I replace the contactor? Or what should I do to fix this problem? Thank you for your help. The issue may be the contactor but if the contactor isn't getting low voltage then the problem is likely elsewhere. Can you turn the AC on and test volts AC between the red and white wires outside, the thermostat wires that come from the thermostat slash furnace? You should have 24V there when the system is trying to cool. Let me know what you are getting. If I test L1 and L2 before the contactor, I'll have 24 volts? If everything is proper up to that point? L1 and L2 are high voltage. You should have 240 volts there. The red and white low voltage wires coming from inside look just like the small wires that connect to the thermostat. Place one lead on the red wire and the other on the white wire when the thermostat is calling for cool and see what you get. Okay. 
Yeah, I got 240 at L1 and L2. I haven't tested the red and white though. You said to test them at the thermostat? Or where? No, test them at the outdoor unit. They will likely enter into the unit and wire but with other wires. You can test at the wire nuts. Okay cool thanks man. No problem, let me know what you find. I have 26 volts here after the furnace. Before it leads to outside. Here's the dilemma. I only get 4.6 volts on the red and white right at the AC unit outside. The line runs under my low profile deck enclosed in a small diameter PVC pipe from my basement to the AC unit. So I have the 24 volts before the foundation in my basement. 26 volts to be exact. Then when I get to those same red and white wires at the AC I get 4.6 volts. Does that mean there's a break in the wire running under my deck? So I have to pull up some boards on my deck? Lol. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.